The business community, including WJCL 22, came out to support an organization that really helps shapes the lives of children. A WJCL 22 News is Dave Williams reports on the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club golf outing. They were teeing off Monday morning at the Savannah Golf Club, all with an eye on the future. 32 teams and over 140 players hitting the links for the Frank Callum Boys and Girls Club golf outing with proceeds going to the organization. It's so rewarding to see so many people come out and support what we do down at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, I think we've continued to give in over 107 years now, we've given hope and opportunity to a lot of kids. Um, some of those kids really didn't need us much, but some of those kids really need us most in their lives. And WJCL was proud to be one of those sponsors with familiar faces hitting the links like Greg Coy, Amy Zimmer, Frank Sokowski, and meteorologist Jonathan Myers, who nearly had a hole in one. But there were other sponsors as well. You know, it's so important um, for our community to have children raised with great values, great work ethics, and uh, the Boys Club here does an incredible job of doing that, so we're always happy to support it. Fundraisers like this golf tournament are so vitally important to the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club for its day-to-day -day operations and to be able to do what it does for Savannah area youths. We're a nonprofit and we're coming into the summer, which is our most expensive time. We'll have the kids at the club from 8 o'clock until 5 o'clock in the evening. So uh, doing programming, this helps to pay for the programming that we do at the club, some of the sports that we do at the club, um, and that youth development staff that we have to bring in to watch the kids at the club. On Wilmington Island, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News.